uh, one day at a time. And, and uh, when you surround yourself with the best uh, or the right people, um, they work as hard when no one's watching as they do when everyone's watching. And I, I think the quality of human being in our organization from student athlete to coach means we've had to do a lot of work with no one watching over the two years. And, and so I don't think that will hurt us. I think the, the average marauder is pretty committed to this and is pretty excited to be back. The uh, key recruits is an interesting one because there's two sets of classes coming in. Uh, we really feel like Keegan Hall uh, is maybe one of the better quarterbacks that's come out in a long time. And, and we're very excited to watch him go. Uh, him and, and Andres Duick are, are going to push, and, and it's going to be fun to watch that quarterback position develop. Um, we feel pretty strongly that uh, uh, we've got a, a good group of young receivers coming in with Keegan. Uh, and in our captain's workouts, Mitch Price is an absolute beast on the D-line. Can't wait to see him go after some quarterbacks in other colored jerseys. For sure. Uh, we had five student athletes uh, get drafted and, and have an opportunity at CFL camps and, and it looks like all five are going to make it, which again, the quality of, of, of and commitment in this COVID time, uh, Marauders I think are better than most. Uh, Jacob Zott and Noah Hallett were very unique at the O-line and, and defensive back positions and can't replace them, but we'll have some young guys bring some unique things to the table. and, and uh, that there's no finish line for, for this. We'll just evolve and, and hopefully reload versus rebuild. Offensively, Andres Duick has got to be the leader of this football team, and he's worked as hard as anybody over the last year and a half, two years here. He's been at every lift, every throw, and he will set the standard for the whole team. Defensively, looking for guys like Josh Cumber and, and Mario Alias and uh, Ryan Leader and Enoch uh, to all step up and, and be the, the vets that they've always been. Um, it's going to be harder to get our culture spread through two freshman classes, uh, but we got great leadership and I'm confident we'll do it. I think with all our OUA uh, uh, competitors, staying healthy. Um, the, the wear and tear and the uniqueness of this sport, hopefully we, we ease into it and we minimize. Um, it's always going to have risk playing tackle football, uh, but the two years off, um, the team that I think stays the healthiest, I, I suspect there's there's six or seven of us that have the talent to get out of Ontario, um, make good use of time and be efficient uh, and stay healthy and, and get hot at the end. Uh, there's only gonna be one Yates Cup champion. Enjoy the return to football. Let, let's have some fun. Uh, it's been as trying a, a, an 18 month, two year period as, as I've had in my generation, and I'm 50 years old, but for these 20 year olds, um, get to the other side of this and, and celebrate getting back to some normalcy um, and push each other and do all the great things that we always do with football and, and, and see where we get to. But uh, uh, reunite the brotherhood of Marauder men and, and see where we can get to is going to be super fun.